How you guys doing? Doing well? I've never done anything like this before, so this, this could be interesting. Um, I am a reporter. I tell stories for a living. Uh, a lot of my stories are about little guys with big ideas, and uh, this is kind of the ultimate version of that. It's about some modern day inventors, but they're very much in the old mold of uh, Mark Twain, who said, we are called the nation of inventors, and we are. And what excited him about invention was the uh, democracy of it. The idea that uh, we all have these innate Promethean powers and we can create and design a country to unleash them. This is uh, Henry Ford in 1901, racing one of his own cars against a guy on a dirt track in Michigan. Uh, the auto industry used to be really interesting. There were, there were interesting uh, inventors and innovators, and it was interesting even into the 1930s. Uh, this is a car called the 1934 Chrysler Airflow. It was the first car to be uh, extensively wind, wind tunnel tested. It has this beautiful kind of aerodynamic shape, and the problem with the airflow is a great car, but it didn't sell. And so every car right now is basically a couch. Your car is a couch. The car companies have lied to you and scammed you. Your car is not aerodynamic. It is a couch. And this is insane because this is uh, lost mile per gallon, uh, lost energy. And this is why we've made almost no progress on uh, MPG in, in a century. The Ford Model T got 20 miles to the gallon. Uh, the average new vehicle today gets 25 miles to the gallon. And this is insane, right? This is insane. We can all admit that this is insane. This is insane. Yeah. All right. Uh, and, and this guy said, uh, yes, this is insane. His name is Peter Diamandis. And in 2007, he raised $10 million, uh, and he dangled it from a string. And he said, anybody who can make a 100-mile-per-gallon car that gets a range of 200 miles will win this money. And I don't care what you've done before, and I don't care if you have a fancy degree, and I don't care how much money you have in your pocket. If you solve this problem, you win the money. And uh, teams from all over the world responded to this challenge. And uh, you see some of them here. And, and for the most part, they weren't big automakers. They were very small uh, uh, startup operations and garage hackers like these people, Kevin and, and, and Jen. They are husband and wife. They uh, decided to build an electric car in a barn in the middle of a cornfield in Illinois. And uh, they built it from scratch because nothing it existed that was aerodynamic enough to get the efficiencies that they needed. So uh, they actually literally burned lengths of steel in a wood-burning stove uh, in, in their barn and formed them around these plywood curves uh, to make the arched ribs of the, of the car. Uh, they looked to some cars from the past for inspiration. That's the original bathtub Porsche on the top. Down in the bottom is one of my favorite cars of all time, the Delahaye 135M with these fenders, voluptuous fenders that look like bombs hanging from the belly of a B-52. Uh, they also looked to science fiction. That's the uh, cloud car from The Empire Strikes Back on the left, <laughs> aerodynamic shape, and the DeLorean from Back to the Future. They loved the going doors, and somebody told them they were too hard to make, so they said, fuck that, we're going to make them, and, uh, and we're going to do it anyway. Um, this is what the car looked like in 2010 when I saw it for the first time. I did not believe in this car. Uh, I did not want to sit in this car or drive this car. Uh, it looked like a dead toenail to me, and it still looks like that. But, uh, but the idea of the contest captivated me, the idea that little guys can have something to say about this big industry. And so I dropped everything that I was doing, and I started uh, writing about some of these teams. And this is the Philly connection. This is the West Philadelphia Hybrid X team. Uh, yeah. They make, they make super efficient hybrid cars in West Philly. Their idea for a car to win the X Prize was a, a hybrid car modeled on a Harley Davidson V-twin engine, which has never been done before in history. And they married it to an electric motor uh, very ingeniously to the transmission with a uh, magnetic clutch they salvaged from a farm tractor. Uh, this is another guy uh, I write about, a team called Edison 2. This, this man is named Oliver Kuttner. He is a fiery, passionate German. I love this picture because it shows how big he is. Oliver's childhood dream was to uh, become a professional race car driver, but he eventually got too fat to fit into the cockpits of the cars. So he became obsessed with the idea of lightness. The most beautiful things in the world are those from which all excess weight has been eliminated. Henry Ford said that, and Oliver believed that with a religious devotion. And uh, the car that he ended up making is called the Very Light Car. It's 800 pounds, and it is so light that you can push it across the floor with just your thumb. It gets 102 and a half miles per gallon equivalent uh, burning gasoline and ethanol, which I think is amazing. Uh, this is Kevin and Jen's car next to a Mitsubishi electric car. Every electric car doesn't have to look like these little electric cars. Uh, 207 and a half miles per gallon equivalent, which uh, is an astonishing accomplishment. It's more than all the electric cars we have now. So uh, the accomplishments were amazing, but more than that, it was really the spirit of the thing that, that, uh, that impressed me. And it's encapsulated by this uh, thing that Kevin and Jen wrote in chalk on the wall of their barn. Somebody has to do something, and that somebody is us. And that's why, when I finished writing the book, 
I felt more optimistic about America. Thank you guys.